Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here. And we're playing some more Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. We're gonna beat the game this time. I have five lives left somehow. We want to take the elevators left, right, right, left. And man, I should have used shield here, but whatever. I can't lose now. I came in with too many lives to be able to lose. So anyways... Yeah, we're gonna finish it this time. Um, I... Uh, sorry about the noise that would happen sometimes when I was talking in the last video. I found out what it was, why it sounded like there was someone on my roof, and why it was so noisy out. Apparently my neighbor just randomly decided to come over and do yard work, which is pretty nice. It's kind of a shame that it had to show up on the video, but hey, it was, it was nice of them to go and do that, and I was really reckless there, but... Whatever, I still have more than the default amount of lives when you start. So it's all good. Just play carelessly, because we don't need to care anymore. We are pretty much in the clear, I think. We'll see when I get to the boss. Maybe there's some challenges before the boss that I don't quite remember, too, but hopefully not. The first time, or the only other time I ever beat the Great Palace, I only lost at most one life when I went through here, I think. Which is pretty surprising, because there's only two dead ends I didn't go to in that playthrough. But I did do a lot of grinding then, just to get magic back and to use my life spell. Speaking of which... That is not what I was hoping for. Uh, there is something that I didn't show last time we were here. And that is this room. Or maybe I did show this room, but not the room above it. I'm not sure. I think we must have not shown this room. But if we go over further, we have some weird, huge bubble which I think splits into two smaller... What? Can I not downward thrust it? I don't know, but yeah, I think that splits into two smaller bubbles if you destroy it. Come on now, I want to get my magic refill. There we go. Ah, that'll have to do. I might be able to go for another one if I go down and come back up, but we should be good with that. No need to waste the time. So last time we were here, we went left to show off all the stuff that we didn't need to go to. This time, let's go right into new territory. Pick 
up that magic refill. I'm surprised I'm doing as good as I am at dodging these guys. And then I get hurt trying to jump up to... Up to here. No, that's not what I wanted at all. It's not even worth it to try for that with all the stuff that's flying around. Is there gonna be another one of those blue guys here? Yes, there is. Let's do this the Nintendo Capri Sun way. I apparently was standing a little too far off of that block, because he did actually manage to hit me. But if you stay back far enough, then he can't hit ya. So thank you Nin once again, Nintendo Capri Sun. You are literally saving my life. What the heck? There oh, that went down too far. Thankfully, there's nothing there to hurt us. Oh, you... That was stupid. That was just really dumb. That's all there is to say about that. I really don't need to fight that guy, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyways, I feel like we're pretty close. Let's just run away from this guy as fast as possible, just like before. Downward thrust straight down and go down the elevator before he can even get near us. If we go off to the side here, what do we get? Is it just another one of these rooms and that's it? Oh, come on! I would really like a restore here. And yeah, it looks like that's all that's in here. There we go. Not quite a full restore, but it'll do. Now we've got some danger on these side paths here. We want to fall through just enough to get to the ferry, but not too much, otherwise we fall through. But there we go, we got our ferry, so now it truly is a full restore. And what? Excuse me, I definitely pressed a jump before... It, it looked like it pulled me down before I even stepped all the way over that. That was pretty messed up, and a bit ironic considering what's at the end of this. It's an extra life! Hello, Link doll. Oh yeah, and to the left of here. That's where we dropped down to the place where we had to dig ourselves all the way back out that long period of time. And we're actually going to be going back to that room pretty soon here, but we're going to be in a new part of that room that we couldn't get to before. Uh, we're supposed to go left at that elevator, but let's just check out what's over here. Um, something not good. Whoa, another thing that's not good. Whoa, hey, not cool. 
Let's just keep doing this until we destroy it. Okay. Uh-oh. No, I didn't make the jump. Oh, come on. Alright, let's get out of here. Yet another dead end explored. I believe there's only one more dead end to go to in this whole dungeon. And it's a dead end I've never actually been to. It's one of the two dead ends that I didn't go to on my first time through here. The other dead end being the first one in the dungeon. So anyways, this is back at that spot that we could drop down through. But we're gonna want to destroy some blocks here. And we're gonna want to heal. But yeah, because there's a floor we can fall through here. And if we head over to the side... I want to heal up a little more here. That's strange. I could have sworn that there was some way that you could... Like, I thought there was supposed to be one of those things that could either be a red potion or an enemy in there. But maybe I'm remembering it wrong? Oh, it might be below here. Anyways, the, the other dead end that I've never been to is the one over here across this bridge. I've never been over here. And we're gonna check it out. I hate these darn fish. Would have been nice to pick up that magic container, but oh well. Oh, sweet, a fairy! I'm probably just gonna lose that health again from these things and the fish, but... Still, it's neat that we found that. Stop it! Darn Bagus. Or Bagos. Bagu is the guy in the forest. These are, like, Bagos or something. Anyways, let's actually drop down here now. Gosh darn bubble going right where I needed to go. Now, if we go left, we should find the potion or enemy. And it was a potion. Alright. want to be fully restored, so let's go do that again. Or maybe we can't do that again, which is really bad, because, oh. Well, there is another one over there that we can do. Which I'm gonna need to do, because we actually need magic for what's coming up. Alright, I would, I would like to be able to heal that last bit of health, but... If those little magic restores don't respawn, then I'm not gonna do that. Welcome to the boss! Thunderbird! He is invincible until you use the thunder spell on him. Which I don't think the old man will actually give you the thunder spell unless you have all the heart containers and magic containers. 
I'm not completely sure about that, but that's what I heard, so... Yeah, this game is literally impossible unless you get all that. Assuming that my source is correct. Thunder! Now he is vulnerable. Now we want to use the shield spell and the jump spell. And Thunderbird doesn't hurt you when you touch him, but the fireballs do hurt you, obviously. And you want to just jump up and get his head. Which is ridiculously hard to do without the jump spell. I don't have enough for life. Wonderful. And we died, which shouldn't be too surprising. This guy is basically the final boss in the hardest game I've ever beaten, so... Yeah. We'll set up the thunder. Come on, Thunderbird. I don't think I have enough for a life spell, which is really disappointing. I literally have to do this whole fight without using the life spell. Unless I want to try doing it without the jump spell, but that would be ridiculous. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck in there now. Don't get stuck in a bad place. We're almost there. Alright, we did it. We beat Thunderbird. We have basically beat this game now. There is one more boss, and this boss is basically impossible. But thankfully, there is a cheap way to do it. Which you're gonna want to use, because like I said, this boss is basically impossible. I'm just gonna cast shield here. And this is our final trial. We saw the Triforce of Courage there. But before we can claim it, we have to fight Link's shadow. So go into the side duck and just keep slashing. He can't hit you, and you can hit him. So this will guarantee your victory. Or maybe he can hit you. That sucks. Maybe don't duck. Maybe this will work better. Alright, we did it. Saved Hyrule, and you are a real hero. The end. That's Zelda 2. Fun fact, you notice how Link's outfit turned red after he used the Triforce on Princess Zelda? That will only happen in the ending scene if you used shield in that final room. But anyways, 
Yeah, that's it for Zelda 2. This is the second time I've ever beat this game. And I'm about to beat it a third time, because I gotta make my Boss Bash video. Anyways, yeah. I am done with Zelda 1, Zelda 1 Second Quest, and Zelda 2. So, all of the ridiculously hard Zelda games are done. I can now get on to the Zelda games that I don't have to get stressed out about. <laughs> So that, that is awesome. Thanks a million. Push start to replay. No thank you. Although actually, uh, no I'm not gonna push start to replay. I'll just say that if you do that, then you'll base, it'll be basically a new game plus where you're still fully leveled up and all that, but you, like, have to do all the... Like, you, you lose all of the dungeon items, and you have to do the palaces again. Anyways, so, yeah, uh, the next Zelda game I'm gonna be doing is A Link to the Past. The next non-Zelda Nintendo game I'm gonna be doing is Metroid 2. The next non-Nintendo game I'm gonna be doing is Ape Escape 2. And aside from that, I'm gonna be doing, you know, more multiplayer stuff with Wild Shiny Kirby, more fan games, and so on. So... I can't- this is ridiculous, I actually managed to get through this game. Cause when I beat this game before, it was- it was ridiculous. But, somehow I managed to make an actual LP of this game. I don't know how, but I did it. And that makes me very happy. So anyways... Uh, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I'll see you for whatever I do next. So see you then.